Hey guys, Jen from Bent Yoga, and we've already talked about this eight limb path, the eight steps you have to take to get to that final bliss or non-reactivity that yoga is showing us, guiding us to. Now, the first step is called the yamas, and there's five of them. We're gonna talk just about the first one right now, ahimsma. So what ahimsma is, is it's non-violence. And at first, when people hear this one, they're like, well, I'm not violent, I've never stabbed somebody. True. However, um, we need to take it a little bit deeper than that. We need to figure out the roots of the violence, and that's what we need to rid ourselves of. Because all of us do have these seeds planted within us, and if those seeds, nobody ever just randomly starts stabbing, right? This violence comes from somewhere. And usually it starts within us, and then it moves to our thoughts, and then it moves to our actions. So we have to stop it when it first gets inside of us. That's how we get the violence out of our hearts. So this ahimsma, this nonviolence, it's not just talking about your physical actions. It's talking about take stock when those seeds get planted. Be aware when those seeds get planted so that you can, once you're aware of them, you can kind of bring them to the forefront and you can release them. For example, Jealousy, that's a huge one. If we're, or greed, if we covet what somebody else wants, right? So that might plant that seed within you. And then if you ignore, say it's your best friend and she gets a brand new car that you can't afford and you wanna be happy for her, but there's some jealousy there. But because she's your best friend, you don't wanna acknowledge the jealousy. So you just keep pushing it down and pushing down. You just keep pretending like it's not there, putting a big smile on your face and yeah, congratulations, and pretending it's not there. That's not getting rid, okay, of this jealousy. What could happen, I'm not saying it will, but what could happen is this jealousy could start to build. And maybe you start to take it personally. She buys something else. Well, she's just doing that, you know, to, to piss me off because she knows that I can't, afford that. You start to take it personally. You start to think about it a lot more. It starts to grow and at some point maybe it becomes an action. Maybe you stop calling her back. Maybe there's actual physical violence. But it all started when you wouldn't acknowledge that seed of jealousy that got planted. So what we need to do to get this ahimsma, to, to reach this state, to have this moral discipline, is we need to start to recognize the moments the seeds are planted. Because they can look all different. They can look all different, but they're all kind of going to have do the same thing. If we push them down, they're going to percolate, they're going to fester, and they could start showing themselves. You know, we've all, if you've ever been in a relationship and, you know, your significant other did something that kind of pissed you off, but you didn't say anything and you just kind of kept quiet, then maybe you were a little snappier later and you still didn't bring it up and a little bit snappier, a little bit, and then you're starting to be passive aggressive and stuff like that. We've all done it. But as soon as you have the conversation, you're like, you know what, three days ago when you did this, it really pissed me off. You feel so much better because you brought light to it. You took that seed, you unplanted it, you threw it out to the world, and now it's gone. Suddenly you get this weight lifted. We call it weight lifted off our shoulders, but it's the same thing. So this ahimsma, in order to practice this discipline, we have to be able to recognize and bring light to these seeds before they take root within us. And this whole bring light, a lot of times we're ashamed. We're ashamed. I read this book that was all about healing back pain, Dr. Um, John Sarno, when I was having back pain. And it was basically saying that Sometimes our back pain is caused because we're repressing, we're pushing away something we don't want to, we don't want to admit. And there was a case study of a mom there, and she didn't want to admit that she was a little angry at her children because they took away her independence. And she had to quit her job for them, and, and she didn't want to admit that. I mean, she's a mom. She didn't even know she was thinking that. She didn't even know. But what happened is that she kept repressing it and repress, repressing it and ignoring it. And then she made herself hurt because of it. In this book, as much as it sounds crazy, it worked for me and it's worked for so many other people. So, you know, there, there is something to it. I'm a very scientific person and it blew my mind when this book actually did something to help my, my shoulder pain. 
But what happens is that when these things take root inside of us, they show themselves in different ways. And if we keep ignoring them and we keep pushing them down and keep pushing them down, then once they come to the surface, it's gonna be larger and larger and larger because they're growing inside of us. So we wanna get it out when it's the tiniest thing possible. So the best way to do that is to own up to your feelings, maybe not even to anyone. If you're jealous of your friend, own up to it. To yourself, maybe to the mirror. Yeah, I wish I had that, I wish I had that. Then turn it around. But I've got an amazing child and I've got a great husband. And I love my job. It's okay to be angry, it's okay to be jealous, it's okay to even be greedy, it's okay for all of these thoughts to happen. We're human, but the thing you don't want is to push it down so far that it takes root and it begins to control you. So if you are looking to practice this ahimsma, to practice this non-violence, look at it at the tiniest level. Acknowledge the feelings when they happen, even if you're ashamed of them, even if you think that they're irrational, that's okay, we're all irrational, right? That's the way that we get rid of violence in our lives. It's not by not stabbing someone. I mean, yeah, that's, of course, but that started somewhere. And that's what you have control over within you. So this self-discipline of acknowledging even the negative thoughts that you have, of owning them, releasing them, that is how this ahimsma comes into play in your life.